afternoon. Thank everyone for coming out. We're gathered here today because Rochester is a city beset by problems. There are almost 4,000 vacant homes in our neighborhoods and more than 2 million square feet of empty office space in the center of our city. Crime is rampant on our streets and many in our community do not trust the police to handle this. Less than 50% of our most precious commodity, our youth, are graduating from high school. Poverty is two and a half times the national average and our city runs a $30 million deficit every year. There is much to do here. Recently, I attended a Voice of the Citizen meeting about crime in our city, hosted by the city. I had hoped our administration would finally have ideas to review with us on how to substantially and sustainably reduce crime. Instead, what, I had, what we were given was four very specific topics which were not designed to address the root causes of crime or how we can best police ourselves. We live in a city where stop and frisk or pray for rain seem to be the only police strategies we employ. Rochesterians have become so disenfranchised by the policing of the city that our own police department has had to start running advertisements asking people to call the police when there's a crime. I was very disappointed that this is the best that Tom Richards could offer as a solution to the highest crime rate in the state. There is much to do here. Since I ran two years ago, I've enjoyed the experience of total strangers walking up to me and introducing themselves as having voted for me. I've spoken to hundreds of hard-hit city residents who have asked me to consider running for mayor again. At these Voice of the Citizen meetings, I met a lot more. Rochester has this rich, vibrant history as a hub of culture, innovation, new industry, and civic pride. Yet, this proud and distinguished history has been tarnished in recent decades. Rochester deserves much better than it has gotten in the last 20 years. Just look at High Falls, the Fast Ferry, the hole that was once Midtown, the 50% increase in poverty over this time, a 9% decrease in population, and a 25% decline in graduation rates. To, re uh, to realize our leaders in the democratic machine has not served us well. After decades, of struggle. We need new solutions that work. It's time to start building a true citizen-based government that can implement real, sustainable solutions. It's time we looked at things that could help the people in this city, not the developers who prey upon us. We can intelligently fund the future if we only tax the large properties and projects appropriately, rather than providing them with huge tax subsidies to put up buildings that remain half empty. We should be exploring municipal utilities to save everyone in Rochester money rather than subsidizing an office park for the U of R. We must concentrate upon job creation using proven techniques like import reports, micro loans, and co-ops to create and grow businesses rather than tax subsidies and tax cuts for the well-connected few. And it's crucial that we change the way we police our city by using the proven techniques of restorative community policing, which will dramatically reduce the crime rate instead of the disappointing, misguided, and superficial strategies we use today. If we do not, if, if we do this, then all Rochesterians can share in the bounty of our government and the trend over these last 20 years can be reversed. And yes, there's much to do. It's time we replace years of party encouraged welfare with community ownership. It's time we change the ambition of Rochester High School students from running a gang to owning a business. It's time to make Rochester a model for others to follow in terms of real solutions to the most significant problems facing our community. We deserve better, and it's time we had a leader who would work to make this a Rochester for all of us. A Rochester where people come first and buildings come second. A Rochester government 
that is by and for the people, that seeks to implement real solutions to our problems, I feel I can help Rochester achieve this vision for the future. So today, I'm proud to announce that I am seeking the Green Party nomination for mayor, and I intend to run in the November election. And with the help of the residents from all walks of life, I hope to bring change to City Hall. It's time we invest in the people of Rochester to truly grow our community. It's time to get a start on a new future because there is so much to do. Thank you. The uh, Department of Justice, the Federal Department of Justice, said the most effective way to reduce crime is to use community policing. So I would think that they would be an organization that would have an idea. What I want to see is I want to see more officers on the street, more interaction with the community, more community involvement. And I want to see us to try to be more engaging rather than more aggressive, which is what we often seem to be, seem to be now. For 40 years, one party has held, well, 30 years, has held every single seat in city government. Many times, they're the only person on the slate. Fortunately, well, that's not true. It has been since 2005, since I had an option of voting in an election in which I wasn't the second choice. Rochester, uh, and, and if there is another choice, it's usually a Democrat running against a Democrat. This doesn't produce the sort of conversation that we talk about new ideas, that we question what we're doing, and that we propose solutions to the problems we all know Rochester has many of. And so third parties are frequently the only one that are willing to come out and discuss solutions ideal things. And we're not afraid that it may offend somebody. Because, you know, there is so much to do. And quite simply, issues are one of the things we have. Can you see any other endorsements? Um, I'm not certain the state Green Party will allow that. Um, yes, I would like to. No, I probably can't. Thank you so much for coming down. I really appreciate the coverage. And if there's anything I can do to give you more information and help you out, please let me know. And of course, I look forward to seeing most of you in the future at other things. Thank you.